Kenny J. and the Shadows helped to set the stage for the fourth annual Silver City International Food and Art Walk. Organizers say Saturday's Southside Festival attracted more than a thousand people. The Milwaukee Public Museum asked neighbors to bring an item related to the theme of food and write a short story about it for the pop-up museum display. Anthony Jackson brought a belt buckle emblazoned with the name of a well-known Milwaukee beer. A friend gave it to him. And I was going to keep it, but I walked by here and see, she explained to me what she was doing with the other things. And I was like, well, I'm going to make a tribute to that and you can have this. Another story was about a Puerto Rican cookbook that had been in one family for years. It was given to my mother in 1995, the story goes. I will receive it next. That story caught the eye of Katie Lynn. The cookbook was really neat. I didn't get a chance to flip through it, but it seemed like an old family treasure. Still another story was about a spatzel maker given by a woman to her daughter-in-law. One of them was German-Polish, the other Italian. The mother-in-law was hoping to bring the two families together. It is uh, sitting there, wrapped still in the package, never been used, so her mother-in-law is a little bit disappointed if she were to know about it, at least. The neighborhood celebration included a main stage for entertainment. And there were streets lined with participating restaurants and shops. The two blocks between 33rd and 35th Street on National Avenue were blocked off for the afternoon event so neighbors could celebrate their diverse heritage, something the city of Milwaukee has always called its own.